what happened in the beginning, the fall of man. Genesis chapter 3 starts a story of what happened to man in the beginning. Hi, baby. Nope, nope. Pavel's doing the movie. Stay right there. Not a little work. <laughs> Come on. Anyways. See, how can you turn down a face like that? Very simple. The Lord says, of such is the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Now, here's what the deal it was. Why the fall? Why sin? Where did sin come from? Okay. And I'm going to talk just a little bit about it, about how the devil did the things that he did. The Bible said that the devil decided to go another way um, in, in heaven when um, when iniquity was found. It says that he was, he is the father of lies. He, uh, devil, the devil was the first church separator. He was, he's an expert at it. The devil is why we have so many different denominations today. Um, he took a third of the angels out of heaven with him when he went. And he separated heaven for the first time. Sin was when sin was found in him. Uh, he began to lie to the angels and tell them there's a different way. And even today, he teaches a different way. He tries to tell people that there's more than one way to get to heaven. There's um, different kinds of doctrines. There's different kinds of uh, interpretations. And um, truthfully, God is pretty well kept his word intact. There's not a lot of different ideas of what the scripture means. There's, um, truthfully, when they start interpreting, they, it, it leaves stuff out. It doesn't add stuff. The King James, is, of course, I said is the most accurate interpretation we have today. And um, this is what happened, okay? The begin to separate. He's a, the devil, he's a separator. He separates families. He separates people, he separates loved ones, and he is the great separator. Um, and the serpent, the Bible says the serpent was more subtle, or he was, he like moved slowly into his things. Honey, can you do something with her, please? Um, moved more slowly, or he's more subtle. He was he was slicker about getting in. You know the snake still has that ability. Have you ever noticed, man? A, a snake he can, you can be watching a snake slither through the woods or through the weeds, and he will almost disappear right in front of your eyes. He has an ability to do that. He is he has an ability to be there without being there. You know he's subtle. So the devil decided to use him, and the Bible said here that. He said to the woman, um, Hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the servant, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the trees which is in the midst of the garden, God said, Shall not eat, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. So you didn't just come to her and approach her and and say, oh, go ahead and eat. Who cares what God thinks? You know, he was slick in the way that he did it. Okay? And um, so he talked her into it. I mean, and this was just like a few verses here, but truthfully, the devil swooned her, if you will. I mean, he, he probably came back more than one day. Probably months. Could have even been years that he came back talk to her about the tree, about how good it looked and all that kind of stuff and and how that uh, it was good to eat and how it wasn't right that God was holding this back from her and just like he took the angels out of heaven the same fashion is how he took man out of the garden okay and um, but of the fruit of the tree okay and verse 4 the serpent said to the woman you shall not surely die they lied to her. For God know that in the day you eat thereof. See, he's saying God's holding stuff back from you here. He's not telling you the whole story. God's lying to you. 
holding back. Same thing as same thing the world says today. If there's a God, why does everybody, why don't God just stop this all this sickness and stuff? Why does he let the innocent suffer? Da da da, on down the line, you know. Same deal, you know, the devil uses that strategy just like he used here, he still uses it today. Okay? For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, and here's the thing that what here's the thing what they did. Uh, okay, and and make a long story shorter. This is what happened because he slicked her into it. Okay, and this is what the things that we suffer with today. Verse 13, And the Lord God said to the woman, What is it that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. <coughs> and the Lord said to the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou shalt, oh, thou art cursed above all cattle. See, the serpent used to look like the cow was similar to the cow. He walked the cattle upright, walked upright, the Bible said. <coughs> and above ever, <coughs> excuse me, Above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And that's why the serpent lost his legs. You can still see where a serpent used to have legs. And I think this is where they came up with that evolution deal, because they saw stuff like that from the serpent. And it's you know, listed in the Bible first. You know, God knew that stuff. He made those animals like that. Okay, anyway. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be no pain when a baby came forth, no danger. Everything was like walking down the street. You know, it came naturally, just like eating food. Uh, came naturally, and there was no pain. It was a great joyful moment when a baby Here. came forth. Ready to go bye bye. And uh, and thy desire shall be to the to the husband, and he shall rule over thee. And yeah, I know what some of you are thinking. Well, they didn't have any babies up to that point. Yeah, but if they had had, okay, I'm saying. Verse 17. And Ad, and to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened to the voice of thy wife and has eaten the tr of the tree of which I command thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorn. Hey, hey, I'm talking here. See why you got to learn to talk loud when you're a preacher? you got to get over the kids. <laughs> Come on, sissy. we got to go bye-bye. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth unto thee, and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field. And in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, thou shalt return unto the ground, for out of it thou wast taken, and dust thou shalt art, dust thou art, and into dust thou shalt return. Okay, and all these things came from this one act that Eve did because she was obedient. That Eve committed the first sin uh, of man, the first sin of mankind. And and because of that is set in into um, motion the broken creation that we see today. All of these things it took upon see they still they still have that nature of the devil that he came in and caused this corruption to come into this into the mix. So men still have that the carnal nature, that's where it came from. It came from the temptation of in the Garden of Eden. Okay? Alright, so at least you know that much. God bless. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Another great message, Cross in the Middle Ministry.